We're at Onanda Park today and we're going to be looking for fossils in this little ravine up here. We're on the west side of Canandaigua Lake. That you can see in the distance there. What are you hoping to find, Sydney? Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. They said they want to find bugs. Old oh. bugs. I don't want to find bugs. Fossilized bugs. Yeah. Bugs like, that have turned into rocks. Oh. Bugs that have turned into rocks. Oh, yeah. We're hoping to find different corals. Ooh, cool. So horn coral, brachiopods, um, crinoid stems. We don't know a whole lot about what they're called and the different varieties, but there's fossils in here and we're going to see if we can find some for you. And this is the start of the trail. We're going to go through the riverbed ravine area. And we haven't been here in quite some time, so it'll be interesting to see if anything's changed since we've been here last. Yeah, it's, it's probably been a good two years at least since we've been here. Oh, yeah. It's a but maybe three. You can take the that. Oh. Oh, cool. Dragonfly. I like how its wings are like a silver shiny, yeah. like yeah. translucent. I want to make it fly. Dragonflies are such cool mm -hmm. bugs. They're very pretty. Yeah. It's a millipede. It's kind of cute how it walks. This is the kind of rock we're going to be looking in. Micah's on the hunt. Already. So we're looking, we're looking for rock that's this color. That just looks like this, a dark gray. Yeah, this like dark gray stuff. Some of it does, some of it doesn't have fossils in it. But if there are, Mike is going to find them. Did you find something, Sydney? No. I'm just You're chipping away at something like you have. Mm -hmm. oh. I just want to see. I'm just going to find pretty rocks. <laughs> I like that idea. Yeah. Let's just find pretty rocks. All right, I've got our first fossil here. Or at least a piece of one. Piece of a shell. Fossil number two. A lot of this material is washing out of the bank here. And we've got a fossil right here. Right on top, right here, this is a brachiopod, which is an ancient clam. A lot of these fossils are believed to be about 400 million years old from the Devonian period. Uh, a long time ago, this area used to be a shallow water sea in New York. So it used to be more of a tropical area than it is now. N nothing like a tropical area right now, but that's why these are here. So there it is, a brachiopod. Sydney said he found something. What you got? Um, not quite sure what they are, but these, they're Crinoid super stone. And then if you look there, it's really hard to see. It's very tiny. It's a tiny, tiny. I've got a few tiny. right here. Oh yeah. I'll show you a close up in a second. So we're just going through this crumbling rock right here. It's just eroding out from all this. While the girls are just enjoying the sun. And here they are close up. The one on the top here, you can see that circle, that's a crinoid stem cross section. And on this one right here, those are also two pieces of crinoid stem. Uh, right above it, that little pattern is probably bryozoa. And there's a piece of a shell here, and a little piece of a shell right there. I found so this. Some of this is pretty small, but interesting. I found this. And that is a shell. Mm -hmm. And kind. a bee. <laughs> the bumblebees on the hunt, too. Okay, Sydney just found another shell. Mm -hmm. It's a little difficult to make out, but that's it. Yep, right there. A lot of this rock is really crumbly, but you can see there's little bits of crinoid stem all mixed in there. 
just eroding out. Some other shells and a few other things in here. It's all mixed in. There's an interesting fossil. I'm not sure what it is, that is, but that white part is there's a fossil. Did you find something, Sid? Um, not one thing. Many things. Many things. Yes. My favorite is that right there. Yep. That looks nice. There's all in there. That's actually one. And then there's that and some other thing going here. Very cool. There's another species of brachiopod right here. Really ancient clamshells. Sydney just spotted a nice looking one. You want to pick it up? Mm -hmm. Nice brachiopod. Sydney's found their first horn coral. A little one. Mm -hmm. And then over here, just a few other. Here are the ones that I found. Same. Like this one right here. Not too sure what that is, but it's a fossil. It's a salamander right in there. I guess we disturbed him. <laughs> okay, we're gonna give this spot a rest and we're gonna continue on up here. There's a few more spots that have a higher concentration of fossils. So we're gonna take a look there and see what we can find. Sydney's splitting some rocks to see if he can find anything on Ooh, the inside. And I did. Look. Oh, yep, there it is. Let's get a close-up of it real quick. Okay. We have our There suit. it is. There's a close-up of Sydney's uh, brachiopod that he split open from the rock. We have our sink. Look. <laughs> here. Our sink? Where? Yes, all of here. <laughs> Looks like granite with garnet in it. Yeah, it's pretty. And it's the state gem or mineral. Here. A few fossils in this. Not many. Well. Some really small ones here and there. Yeah, but this one was the best one. Yeah, the one right we showed there. earlier. Yeah. It's hard because you don't really want to break the fossils, but you also have to open it up to see if they're even there or not. Mm -hmm. So we just try to break hey, along the natural cracks in it. What is it? That's a piece of a uh, trilobite. Yeah. Let's get a close-up of that one too. Okay, this may be a little hard to see, but right on the tip of my fingernail, that's... That's a piece of a trilobite. There are pieces of trilobites in here, but they're pretty hard to come by. But that's just the back end of one. Look! I oh, do it with what did this. you find? A cat. An ancient hieroglyph. Yes, an ancient cat. An ancient cat. It's a it petroglyph. Oh, yeah. Yes. Must have been from the aboriginal kiddos that lived in this area. <laughs> yeah, and it was drawn by this. Oh, and you even uh, you even found the rock that it was drawn with. Yeah. Uh, that's adorable. Thanks. Okay. Okay, I just spotted something. This is exciting. It might break. That there is a piece of a trilobite. Mm -hmm. There it is. Wow. And that's the back end of a trilobite. You see more? Cool. Right there. Okay. Yeah. I, That's pretty much all for that rock. Hey. <gasps> oh, I found some. The tiniest. Baby. Ah! Spider. <laughs> <laughs> there. Look. Here's some slightly harder rock. 
has some fossils in it. I'm not sure what the squiggly line is right there, but there's a brachiopod in the rock in the matrix there. When I turn it over, there's a few more shells that you can see. One there. Some here, some over here. This must be similar. So this is a pretty cool rock. A nice sample of things that you can find here. I've got another piece of a trilobite here. This one is curled up and around the edge. I think that may be its eye right there that's protruding out. This little trilobite curled up. We found our bugs. Yeah, that's probably one of the better trilobites that we found here. That has the eye on it in the front part of that. I'm not sure the name of all the body parts of it, but that's the whole thing there. It's just curled up. It's probably our best find yet. Okay, Sydney just found this. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's kind of cool. I think it's a corn coral that's like wrapped around. It could be some kind of coral. I'm not sure. Cool. So we're just making our way up this way right here. And we're going to be looking along this whole wall right here that's weathering out. Lots of stuff in here. And I've already found some things in here. I'm going to show you a little bit closer up. There's a fossil right there, and Sydney's got something he wants to show us. First that. Very cool. I'm not sure what those and are called. I know some people know what they're this. called. This. That's probably the biggest brachiopod we found. And then that. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> and that's a big one. Let me see yeah. if you can get a better shot of it. <clears throat> yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. That's why you have you to stop You can see the, the full tip on it. It goes really far out. It's a nice one. There's some other things in there too. Mm -hmm. Good find. Thanks. So we're just going to look along this wall right here and see what else we can find. this wall. There's some more fossils. Crinoid stems and stems and some other things. There's a bunch of fossils over here. Okay, show me where. I think I just found right an enormous here. brachiopod. Where? Look. Ooh, yeah. I'm holding one. That looks really big. All right, pull it out. Let's we'll see how big it is. It's even whole. Whoa. Oh, that would have been wow. enormous. That's just a oh. Uh oh. <laughs> and there it goes. This place is. That would have been really big if it was whole. This yeah, is Fossil me. City. Oh, oh the Fossil So that's the middle right there, that line. Mm -hmm. It would have extended out further both ways. Yeah, you okay, can see. Alice, okay, Alice, show me yours. Okay. That would have been um, enormous. There are fossil shells right there and there. Very good. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah, it's fun finding them. Really cool horn corals, right there. Oh yeah. And then there are fossil shells. It's the best this horn is... coral we found. Yeah. It this almost looks like an horn. alligator tooth. Oh, it does. It's not an alligator tooth, but it sure looks like it. Yeah. Same shape. It's very straight. It's a big oh, one. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <gasps> I think I see something down here. What? That is a shell. Mm-hmm. But it's not in the rock. This is a crinoid stem. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, and okay. it's muddy, but it's another. It's another horn coral. Broken horn coral. Ooh, look at this. Oh, horn coral city. Another coral. I just found this piece of coral against the wall. Fossil coral, and Sydney found that in the water. It's mm -hmm. a different type of shell than what we had been seeing. That has both of the shells together. Look at that interesting shape on it. 
Yeah. Nice find. Mm. Found something in the wall. What's that? Let's see. Yeah, that shape or the it's like an imprint. You wanna point yeah. it out? Right there. That's really cool. Yeah. Wonder if I can get it out. I don't know. A lot of the stuff is so crumbly that it breaks. Yeah. But there's still yeah, some interesting things in here. It's pretty solid. I don't think I can get that one out. Oh, it look like I don't know. Yeah. All kinds of fossils in here. Sydney just found another one in the water. And it's super flat. Yeah. It's really thin. If you know what species of shell this is, you can let us know. There's another shell. You can kind of just tell by the shape, a little bit of the texture to it, but there's another shell. A different kind than I think we'd seen before. Right here. Sydney got another coral. And then up here. Oh yeah, underneath there is oh. a shell. Sydney. Nice. And another one that just washed out. Okay, we're making our way out of here. And that's gonna conclude it for our fossil hunting adventure for today hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more fossil hunting videos like this just let us know and we'll come back or we'll go to another spot because there's quite a lot of places like this uh, in the finger lakes area but we will see you on the next one have a good one